Do you know how to clean that silver plate in your dev pile? In today's video, I'm going to show you a cool science trick that uses everyday items you probably already have at home. Aluminum foil, baking soda, and boiling water. That's it. But the coolest part about this is the science. Sometimes it's not just about doing things to get them done. It's also about understanding the process behind them. Science is hella fun. Hell yes it is. First, let's understand why the silver tarnishes. When silver is exposed to air over time, it reacts with sulfur compounds present in the air or certain foods. This reaction forms silver sulfide, that blackish material you see as tarnish. That shit looks nasty and it gets on your hands. Facts. Silver sulfide forms a thin layer on the surface of silver items, blocking the natural shine of the silver underneath. Sulfur is the problem here, and if you live in a city with high pollution or store your silver near materials containing sulfur, like wool or rubber, you may notice that tarnishing happens way faster. But the good news is that tarnishing is a completely natural process, and it doesn't mean the silver is ruined. It's just a layer of sulfur compounds on the surface, and you can reverse this process using chemistry, sucker. Damn, I was just gonna throw them out. What the f***? Now, the magic is in the electrochemical reaction. We're essentially going to remove the sulfur from the silver and transfer it to aluminum foil. To kickstart this reaction, we need three things. Like I said before, aluminum foil, baking soda, and hot water. All natural, baby. So why aluminum? Aluminum is a reactive metal, meaning it easily loses electrons in certain conditions. Silver, on the other hand, is much less reactive, meaning it prefers to hold on to its electrons. When silver sulfide forms, sulfur bonds tightly to the silver atoms. To clean the silver, we need to convince that sulfur to let go of the silver and bond to something else. This is where aluminum comes in. In this process, aluminum gives up the electrons much more easily than silver does, so it becomes the sacrificial material in the reaction. The sulfur from the tarnish is drawn to the aluminum and as the electrons flow from the aluminum to the silver, the tarnish is transferred. You're not going to sacrifice me, are you? If you keep being a pain in the ass, maybe. But how does baking soda fit into all of this? Baking soda, or sodium bicarbonate, acts as an electrolyte in this reaction. This means that it allows the electric charge to flow between the aluminum and the silver more easily. When we dissolve baking soda in the water, it breaks down into positive sodium ions and negative bicarbonate ions. These ions help create a conductive environment in the water, which allows electrons to move from the aluminum to the silver. Without the baking soda, this reaction would be much slower or might not even happen at all. And finally, we need hot water to speed up the process. How hot? Like faucet hot or hotter? Boiling hot. The kind of hot that only your wella can endure. Heat makes atoms and molecules move faster, which helps the chemical reaction occur more quickly. The hot water also dissolves baking soda faster, creating the ideal environment for the electrochemical reaction. Now check this out while All I- Alright, let's get everything that we need. Pure baking soda, when you buy it, buy a big ass bag like this. And actually there's bigger bags, but this bag is big enough because you might have to do it a couple of times depending on the tarnish. You need something to, like a pot or something to put things in. This is a Le Creuset baking dish. If you don't want the tarnish getting on anything, nothing will happen. But if you get kind of icky about it, then just use something else. Use a disposable one. We also need aluminum foil. And I have this big ass one that I bought at Costco because this thing lasts forever. We also need a cloth. This is just to clean. It has nothing else on it. We need a spatula. This is silicone so that way it won't so that it won't contaminate whatever I'm going to do when I'm doing the process. And this is just so you guys can see. I did these last night so that they could be ready. Look at how shiny that is. And this is what we're working with today. That is chingos of tarnish. Pour the water into, oh, and I forgot. We need water, boiling water. So I'm using the teapot because maybe you don't have a big ass pot. So you have a teapot and then I have that as additional. Sometimes you have a very big item or a big pot that you're doing this in and you need more water. This is not enough. So we're going to do this. You tear off whatever amount of aluminum foil you need. 
In this case, that should cover it. Okay. We're going to cover it on the inside, all of it. It doesn't really matter. Like you don't, if the water goes around or under the aluminum foil, that's totally fine. What you're trying to do is the chemical reaction is going to do its thing regardless of whether the water is above or below the aluminum foil. It's just easier to do it this way. We're going to wait for this thing to steam. And while we're waiting, this is the way that I like to do it. First off, I put my item in there. So I'm only going to do it like this and I'm only going to cover half of it so that I can show you the difference. But I put my item in there, right? It's going to sit. Then I'm going to do the water once it boils. Then I'm going to do the baking soda. And the reason I like to do that is because it is fucking cool the way that it starts going. If you don't want to clean too much, then put something around here that catches the baking soda because once it starts fizzing, it's like when you open a soda or a Coke and you pour it into a cup, you know, when it fizzes, it goes shh, and then it gets everything else sticky around it. Well, the same shit's going to happen with the baking soda and the water. But I just think it's cool. You know what? In fact, move my booze block away from here. I recommend booze block if you guys, uh, if you guys cook a lot. Booze block is the best thing to cut on. Freaking awesome. It's not cheap, but it's good. Okay, so we have everything set up. Now we just wait for the water. Get a better stove than I have. I hate this fucking stove. I need a new one. I haven't bought one because I need to extend it. I want more burners, but this shit takes forever. But I also got it at Lowe's for, I think, like 150 bucks because it had two dents that you can't even see. But I'm smart and I save money. That's a pro tip for you guys. All right, we're going to try the teapot, actually the tea kettle. As my cameraman just told me, she corrected me. We're going to pour it. It doesn't matter where you pour it. And like I said, I'm going to do about halfway. That way we can compare. Now, check this out. It's like magia way. Ooh. Oh, shit. Look at that. And pour chingos of baking soda. Don't be culo. Pour chingos of baking soda. I mean, this shit doesn't cost anything anyways. And like I said at the beginning, this is all a natural process. Baking soda, I mean, we can make it now, but it also can be excavated uh, from the earth. And then the boiling water was just water. And aluminum is also a natural occurring material. If you want to see it fizz more, if you grab this and start shaking it up, it keeps the reaction going over and over again. And all we're doing is because it's fun. You don't have to do this. Just let it sit. In this case, that shit is really tarnished. So we're, we would probably have to let it sit for about 30 minutes. But we don't have 30 minutes. Okay, if you notice, look at that. There's already a line right there, right? That line right there. Ah, son of a bitch. Está bien caliente. Ah. <laughs> I forgot that the water was hot, right? Be careful with the water. But if you notice, it already looks like half of it is starting to get clean or at least it'll change color. It, it doesn't look clean and it's not going to look clean until you rub it off because the tarnish is doing what it needs to do. But sometimes it needs to, it needs an assistant. These are just paper towels. I don't recommend paper towels to finish off the product because first of all, you can scratch your, your silver, but I don't care about this or whatever. So use microfiber or anything else. And then this is going to be the final step. This is what I'm going to finish it off with. This is a silver polishing cloth. Uh, technically that's the cleaning side and that's the polishing side. I'm not going to use a polishing so that you don't think that I'm doing some shady shit and that's not working. This is just a cleaner. It's just a cleaning rag. Look, let's check it out already because I want to check it out. And in fact, let me turn this off. We're going to take this. Uh, you know what? I'm going to put it on here. So it, don't, so it doesn't burn my, my countertop. Ah, su puta madre. Ay, wey. Hot, hot, hot. Be careful, like I said. I do have gloves, but you know what? Whatever. If my grandma can do this without burning herself, you know, why, why can't I? Look at that difference. We haven't done anything again. We haven't done anything yet. But look at that difference. Let's start rubbing, rubbing, rubbing. If you notice, it's coming off, right? But it still looks tarnished. Nope, it still needs more time. So we're gonna put it in for more time. We're gonna add more baking soda. Should have used a different uh, item that wasn't so damn tarnished. Well, I'll show you with this. Gorgeous. And it was very black yesterday when we were doing it. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. I need to remove this. Look, it's coming off, right? Well, a lot of the times what's going to happen is that 
you're gonna like the aluminum foil is gonna be bad because like I said before the aluminum foil look at that that tarnish right there that black stuff that is absorbed by aluminum foil so if we do if we need to redo this we just need new everything so we're gonna do another piece of aluminum foil we get the water baking soda And you can see the chemical reaction happening again. Hey, uh, why is it taking so long? I told you it was going to take long, Bruce, because sometimes if it has too much tarnish, you got to do it over and over again. So remember, if it has too much, you got to do it over and over again. All right, I'm not going to clean the entire thing because that's going to take forever and I don't have forever right now. But I'm going to clean this so you guys can see. Okay, after I let it sit for a while off camera because this was taking too long, since so look, look at the tarnish. That is a shitload of tarnish. And then look at that. Beautiful, right? There you go. Great job, Damien. Great job. Well, I explain what is going on at the molecular level. When you place the silver and aluminum foil in hot water mixed with baking soda, you're setting up an electrochemical cell. Electrons begin to flow from the aluminum to the silver through the solution. And as this happens, the silver atoms in the silver sulfide are pulled away from the silver surface and attached to the aluminum foil. This is because sulfur has a higher affinity for aluminum in this reaction. As the sulfur atoms leave the silver, the silver atoms are left behind, pure and shiny again. The black tarnish you see is actually disappearing because the silver sulfide is breaking it apart. Fucking cool, right? Hell yeah! Pro tip, this cleaning process takes time. You might notice that within just a few minutes and sometimes a lot of minutes, the tarnish starts to fade. This happens because the sulfur is being stripped away from the silver and deposited onto the aluminum. You might even notice some discoloration on the aluminum foil, which is a sign that it's working. So be patient. You may also want to repeat this process as necessary until you achieve the desired result. Look at the difference. Pretty f***ing amazing, right? This method is not only effective, but also satisfying. And it's safe for your silver because it's a gentle chemical process that doesn't scratch or damage the metal. Now, you can do this to all that shit you have in your death pile and list it. And that's it, everybody. Now you know of a natural, cheap, quick, and easy way to clean your silver using aluminum foil, baking soda, and boiling water. Plus, you know the science behind it. Next time you notice your silver looking a little tarnished, just remember this simple trick or come back to the video to watch it again. To continue to support the channel, you can always buy a shirt, a hat, or a logo sticker from the store below. You can also become part of the Resolutions posse like Swamper1990, David Diaz, Yin Yang Threads, Boats, and me name our newest members. You too can enjoy perks like member shoutouts, advanced video viewing, bolo callouts, and members only live streams depending on your level. And it can cost you less than gas station coffee. As always, give this video a like, share this with anybody that needs to see it, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already so you don't miss awesome videos like this. See you in the next one. Peace! And cheers. Coffee from the coffee wench. Today was a tough one. For whatever reason, I was just tongue twisted. I don't know. It was just hard. I think this is the 17th take and I never take that many takes. <laughs> 17 times people. This is how much I care about you and this is what I do for you. So it turns out that I was moving something to get ready for this shot and look, my Lego bonsai tree freaking fell to the ground, to the floor and it's destroyed. Look at that. Leaves. My little karate people. Where are they? Oops. Look. Ah, oh, freaking dog hair. Karate people. You see, even he's mad. When it fell, the dogs got scared. Charlie got scared because Charlie's blind, so he doesn't know. He heard a loud crash. And now he's wondering what's going on. It's okay, Baba. It's okay. It's just Legos. And you know, the worst thing about this is that I have three or four sets that I haven't even touched in a long time because 
Really? Because I don't want to make time. My business comes first and fun comes second when it comes to Lego anyway. And it's just unfortunate because I used to love building Lego. I mean, I built all kinds of Lego. Look at that. I have my fish tank right there. I have the Ducati up there. And I have a, bu a whole bunch of other shit around the house like the lamp. If you look at that lamp right there, those are all excess pieces that I've collected over the years. This sucks. But this is what I do for you guys. And thank you for watching. I'm sorry, baby. She got scared because I, uh, I got mad when the Legos fell. It's not your fault, Mama. I wasn't not yelling at you. I was not yelling at you. She runs to the, she runs to the bed and she kind of hides. It's okay, Mama. You can come back. I have so many outtakes this time. All right. Quiet on the set. I love saying that. God damn it! Acts as an electrical...